Yo guys, if you guys are struggling with performance in Fortnite OG and you want improved FPS and lower latency in order to make your game snappier and more responsive, then this is the video for you. In this video, we're going to be going over the best competitive settings as well as some Windows tweaks in order to make your game run as best as possible. Let's go. Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. So today we're going to be jumping into the best Fortnite OG competitive settings and Windows tweaks. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is head over to the link that's going to be in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and download the Google Drive link, which is going to be the Rethink Solutions Fortnite OG FPS Pack raw. So I want you guys to go ahead and click up here in the top right. Click on this little download button here. And after this, guys, it's going to go ahead and start the download and uh, let me know once it finishes for you guys. And then uh, as soon as this is done, you guys can go ahead and save it to desktop in the top left and click on save. After this, guys, you guys can go ahead and minimize your browser or just click it open from here. Either one is fine. So I'll click it open from here. Minimize it. If it is on your browser, just go ahead and double left click this and it'll open the same thing. <clears throat> so, guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you drag the folder out to your desktop and then I'm going to go ahead and have you exit out of this. And from here, we can go ahead and jump into the tweaks. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is double left click the Rethink Solutions Fortnite OG FPS pack. And we're going to look for this little icon here that says in pseudo LG. I want you guys to right click this and click on run as administrator. After this, I want you guys to go ahead and click on enable all privileges. And then I want you guys to go ahead and click on device cleanup. And I want you guys to go ahead and drag it into the open section here. Then after this, please click run. After this, you guys are going to see a list of unused devices that is pretty much using up your RAM storage and decreasing your performance for devices that you're not even using. So to delete, to delete all these guys, I want you guys to click on devices, click on select all, and you should ha have a bunch more devices highlighted than me, uh, then, since this is a fresh version of Windows I have. And then I want you guys to click on remove selected. Once again, guys, this is going to free up tons of RAM and it's going to make a game feel so much better knowing that your RAM is being used up for old things that's not even plugged in anymore. So go ahead and exit out of this. Now I want you guys to go ahead and click on disable FSO globally. So a lot of people might think their aim is bad because their aim, and aim is bad, but it's actually because your game is not as snappy and responsive as it should be due to the fact that full screen optimization is not completed correctly. So um, I want you guys to go ahead and click on disable FSO globally. I want you guys to drag it into the open section and click on run. After this, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and click on disable power saving features for USB and drag it over into the open section as well and click run. And do the same thing for the disable USB three link power savings open run. So what that's going to do, guys, is pretty much disable any power saving features that you have on your devices, which is causing tons of input delay, which is definitely something you don't want. So from here, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and click on the bottom, click on power tweaks, drag it over. And I want you guys to go ahead and just take a look at this. All these power tweaks are is just making sure that your DC and AC settings are on max capacity. I want you guys to go ahead and click on run and then click on yes. After that, I want you guys to go ahead and click on system responsiveness, drag it over into open, click run, click yes, and click OK and do the same thing. So from here, guys, I want you guys to click on the MSI utility V3 icon that we skipped drag it over into the open section and click run as well. Now I want you guys to go ahead and look to the left here. You guys are going to see a long list. I want you guys to actually look for your graphics card. So once you guys have found your graphics card, I want you guys to go ahead and click on it. And I want you guys to look to the right. And as you guys can see, I have an Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 Super. So that's selected for me. Whatever you guys have, look for your graphics card. Look to the right in the third row for the MSI box. It might be unchecked for you guys. Make sure that the box is checked, guys. Make sure that it's checked. Look to the right. You're going to see undefined. Keep this on undefined as well. So look for your graphics card. Check the MSI box and make sure the interrupt priority to the right is on undefined. After that, click on apply. From here, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and go to where your Fortnite is located. Um, your Win64 settings. Uh, you guys might have it located in your C drive and pretty much go to all of the icons. I want you guys to click on the Fortnite client Win64 shipping. Click on properties, click compatibility, and I want you guys to click on disable full screen optimizations again. Even though we already did it with the file, we want to make sure it's disabled here. Click on change high DPI settings and click override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by application. And I want you guys to do this for the Fortnite client win 64 shipping. 
only is the only one that's affected so from here guys i want you guys to go ahead and go to the bottom left and you guys are going to type in device manager once you guys do have device manager open i want you guys to click view at the top and click view devices by type you guys should have a list that looks similar to this i want you guys to go ahead and click on system devices and i want you guys to go ahead and scroll down until you see high precision event timer i want you guys to right click on this and you guys are going to see disable device i already have mine disabled so it's not going to say that but i want you guys to disable high precision event timer then i want you guys to scroll down and i want you guys to look for a numeric data processor right click this disable this as well then i want you guys to go ahead and click on view again and click view devices by connection from here i want you guys to scroll down and look for the pci to pci bridge sections then i want you guys to look for the one that's going to have your graphics card so this is going to be for nvidia graphics card only so if you have an nvidia graphics card make sure you keep following along so look for the PCI to PCI bridge with the NVIDIA graphics card in it. And uh, if you guys do have a USB headset, then you definitely want to make sure a high definition audio controller is disabled. Now, this is only for USB headsets, guys. Having a USB headset is a huge, huge advantage, guys. And if you guys don't have a USB headset, I highly recommend getting one due to the fact that you can turn this setting off. Audio is a main factor of input delay um that's really a main cause of it on computer as well so to have this audio driver disabled is a huge huge boost to your improvement and your uh, performance on your computer so you guys can go ahead and right click this and disable this and you'll be all done after this let's go ahead and open up our fortnite and let's go ahead and jump into the settings let's go so guys the first thing we're going to go ahead and do once you do have your game open i want you guys to go ahead and click on the top right icon and i want you guys to go ahead and click on settings then from here, you guys can go ahead and start off with the display settings. I want you guys to put your windowed mode on full screen as full screen mode is going to run significantly better than windowed full screen or windowed due to the fact that it locks in your game's frames and it's going to make your input delay and frames a lot better. So make sure this is on full screen. Make sure you're on your monitor's native resolution. Make sure you have VSync off as you do not want that, guys. Make sure you guys do have the frame rate limit set to 240 make sure you guys do have the rendering mode set to performance mode uh, you guys can use direct 11 if you want but i do highly recommend performance mode as it definitely reduces memory usage and lightens the load on your cpu and gpu you guys can play max brightness if you'd like C colorblind mode i like triton up 10 as i feel it makes the game run a little bit better probably not though it might be just, just be placebo uh, i like 3d resolution at 99 percent as i feel like it gives me a slight advantage view distance you're going to want this on near textures on low meshes you guys can play low or high and uh, show fps you guys can turn this on and report performance stats off so i want you guys to go ahead and hit apply after this so after you guys have hit applied i want you guys to go ahead and click on the settings make sure you guys are on your right matchmaking region i want you guys to scroll all the way down turn contextual tips off and you guys can turn replay mode record large team replays record creative replays and record high quality replays off if you guys aren't using them if you scrim you can turn record replays on if you want but turning this off is definitely going to help so uh enable idle energy saving i want you guys to go ahead and disable both of these as that's not something that you want on your fortnite game at all then i want you guys to hit apply one more time from here let's jump into the audio settings and i want you guys to change the sound quality from high to low so the footsteps will still sound fine but this is definitely going to help you guys in performance a lot and it's going to improve your game speed so i want you guys to turn this to low and then click on apply so after this is done guys i want you guys to go ahead and save all those changes I already have them applied so there's no reason for me to do it again and if this helped guys leave a like and comment in the video below and have an amazing day. It's been Rethink Solutions. See you guys in the next one.